Hey guys, this is Adrian Inframodio, and we're gonna cover two new important features in version 1.2 of Speedlines for After Effects. So off the bat, the script still works the same. We have a simple path here. I'm just gonna execute the script, increase the number of speed lines. Um, so the feature that we have added by popular demand is control over the endpoint. So by default, the endpoint is going to be following at the same speed that the object is moving forward. But now if you click on your speed on your shape layer, excuse me, and go into your effect controls, you'll see we've added a speed lines enable end. And if you check that box, it's going to secure the endpoint um, at the very beginning of the path. But then the effect right below it allows you to manually control where that point will be locked. So as the script moves forward, that end will stay in place or you can keyframe it to move it however you like. But the feature I'm most excited about is we've added support for null objects and expressions. So as you can see, we've added a simple wiggle two by 500 and we've parented this object to a null and we have it going all over the screen here. So to make this work, we just need to select our layer and then we need to check the parenting and expressions box in the UI panel. And then we're gonna go ahead and click create speed lines. You'll see we have a little loading bar. This may take a long time depending on the size of your comp and the complexity. So just note for that. And there we go, we have the speed lines following it exactly where it's gonna go. And of course we could update the null object and the script and all we need to do is click update speed lines. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. We'll make this move even faster. So it's gonna go out of sync. Select our shape layer path, click update speed lines. And we are back in sync again. And of course, you're able to secure the endpoint of layers using the parenting and expressions box. So you can have it continually draw a path or you can manually animate the end of that path. And we've also fixed bugs related to undoing things uh, once you've already executed the script. So you should have a much smoother experience in general. Well guys, that's what's new in Speedlines version 1.2. I'm excited to see what you make with it. Feel free to send it in, I'd be happy to share it. And I look forward to improving the script even more. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.